Hello, this is Pastor Bob at MarriageHelp.com. I want to start off with the title of this message saying, Love Your Enemies. Love Your Enemies? What does that have to do with marriage counseling? Sometimes we start off, marriage problems big enough, that just saying, Love Your Enemies, is a very big step forward in getting the, the conflict resolved. It's impossible for me to try and tell you all the problems that we've faced uh, with couples through the years. But they've lost the sense of partnership almost universally. They've lost the sense that they're working together for a single purpose, and they're starting to pull apart. Uh, the phrase I use is we get into a tug of war instead of a harness. We're not working together for the same goal. We're now pulling in opposite directions. It, it's difficult when you're going in opposite directions to break out of the pattern. Now, we work as human beings in patterns. That's the way we're set up. It's just like we get into automatic kinds of things that begin to, we begin to do to respond to one another. And one person has an automatic reaction, no matter what the basis is, for the other person's words or deeds. And so we begin to get into this same thing. I, I had a lady one time, we've been talking about patterns and how do we do things. She had two daughters. Her oldest daughter was a very rebellious child and very difficult to get along with. The younger one was pleasant, cooperative, a joy to be around. We've been talking about patterns and how we get into them and we fall into them so easily. The lady told me a story about how as she was ready to walk into her older daughter's room and was beginning to get that mindset of what she was going to have to face as soon as she opened the door and confronted this rebellious daughter. She said, I'm going to play a game with myself. Instead of thinking that I'm getting a hold of the door handle to go in and talk to my older daughter, I'm going to pretend that it's my younger daughter's bedroom. She did, opened the door, and responded with the same tone of voice, the same attitude, the same set of feelings as she might if she was entering her younger daughter's bedroom. She reported to me that that was amazing, the difference that happened. The older daughter didn't respond automatically by throwing a fit. You see, when one person or the other decides to love your enemies. Jesus had that radical concept. He taught in the Sermon on the Mount. Love your enemies. Love your enemies. How do you frustrate an enemy? Well, if you want the enemy to continue to fight against you, keep up the fight. But if you stop fighting and you begin doing loving, generous, kind, patient things for that enemy, pretty soon you're going to find they're not your enemy anymore. That's what Jesus was trying to say. You're going to find your enemies transformed into your friends and partners if you show genuine love the vast majority of the time. There are some people who just don't want to be loved and they don't want to be a partner, but Jesus said, love your enemies, and he meant that. It has tremendous impact. I want to share with you that in this session together, I want you to stop and just think about it for a second. What's your normal pattern? I'll tell you, honestly, most couples report that they actually argue almost the same arguments time after time after time. Stop pulling on the rope. Just for today. Stop pulling on the rope like you've been doing. I had a couple one time ask me this. We've been seven years in this tug-of-war situation. How do we stop? How do we erase seven bad years? I said, well, I'm going to give you an assignment for 24 hours. Here's what it is. Be nice to each other. It's only one day. Be pleasant. Don't argue. Don't try and find fault. Don't pick at the other one. Be gracious. Be gentle. 
You can do that for 24 hours. Surprisingly, at the end of 24 hours, instead of being seven years that you're feeling like you have to overcome, you only have to think about it maybe being six years and ten months. At the end of two full days of being nice to each other, it only feels like five and a half years of bad. And after a whole work, a whole week of being nice to each other, you might even have it down to a year or 18 months that you feel like you have to overcome. It's surprising. Once you break the pattern, your whole set of feelings, your responses, your reactions change dramatically. How do you love your enemies? Stop pulling on the rope. Stop pulling the same pattern that you've been doing through however long you've been pulling on the rope. And be gentle. Be loving. Be compassionate. How much harm could it do to invest a day, invest a week, invest a few moments of the future to see if being gentle will turn the whole pattern of your relationship around. Jesus didn't give us advice for no value, for no reason. He cut to the very heart of who we are and how we operate with his words, love your enemies. And in this case, I'm going to change the words just a little bit. I think fits better. Love your irritating spouse for one day and see if that doesn't change the way things operate in your marriage. You might be very surprised. God bless you, and thank you for listening to MarriageHelp.com.